Welcome back, dear student, to your online courses. Our today lesson is about the basics of English grammar. It's a lesson for the first and second year of secondary school students. Okay, to start with, let's have a little view of the lesson objectives. Here we have to consolidate the use of the following grammar basics, which are here. The present tense of the verb to be, WH question words, the plural of nouns, demonstratives, possessive adjectives, and possessive case apostrophe S. To start with, we have present tense of the verb to be. The verb be has three forms, am, um, is, and are, which we have to use according to the pronoun or subject. Subjects here, I'm talking about I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they, okay? So, we can use the verb to be, okay, verb to be. We can use it to talk about occupations, jobs, okay, like teacher, doctor, dentist, vet, etc. We, like, we can talk about nouns, okay, nouns, tables, doors, cities, villages, etc. We can use it to describe adjectives. For example, we have white, we have clear, smart, big and small. We can use it also with places. Here we have classroom, we can have a house, a school, hospital, clinic, etc. Okay. This is the affirmative okay form of the verb to be the subject here subject pronouns we have here our subject pronouns and here we have the forms of the verb to be according to those subject pronouns okay we use i with am and we use you with are he is she is it is we are they are okay and here we have some examples i'm a teacher Okay, here we have the subject pronoun, and here we have the verb to be in the simple present. You are a student. He is in the lab. She is my sister. It is a city. We are friends. We are friends. They are doctors. Here we can have, as we have seen before, we talked about affirmative sentences. Now we need to know what is negative or what are the negative sentences. You can make negative sentences similar to the sentences before. The only difference is to add not, which means that the negative means not. After am, is or are. Okay, I'm not. Okay, I'm not. Not, is not, are not. As you can see in the following chart, we have here, okay, an example. She is not sad, okay? Here not is the negative form, okay? They are not in the school, not the same thing, negative, okay? Here we have a small chart okay about the full form of the negative form of the verb to be and the short form we can use also okay so here we have this is called the full form form sorry i am not i'm not okay he is not he is not or he isn't okay she is not she is not or she isn't it is not it's not or it isn't we are not we're not or we aren't and so on okay so this okay column have the full form and this one has has got the short form let's move on here to yes or no questions how we can okay answer to with yes or no okay to some questions here are the examples Affirmative statement or affirmative sentence. John and Peter are students. Okay, this sentence is affirmative. Okay, affirmative. It ends with a full stop and has no not. Okay, yes or no questions. 
Are John and Barry students? Question mark. Yes, they are. Or no, they aren't. Okay. This, these are the short forms of verb to be. And here we can have also, okay, a quick view of the full form of the verb to be. Okay. We can either answer with the short forms or the full forms. Okay. Here, look at our second example. Here we have Mary is tall and thin. Affirmative. Okay. Is Mary tall and thin? Okay. It's question. Okay. It's a question. And we can have the answer with yes, she is, or no, she isn't. Okay. Good. Here we have, okay, a brief review, okay, of the, our uh, verb to be we have seen before in the affirmative form, negative form, and questions, okay, forms. And short answers too. Let's move on now to WH questions. Okay, we can have those WH questions to ask questions in at any topic. Okay, with any persons, with any person. Sorry. Okay, here we have a chart. Okay, it's clear to see. Here we have this what we use what to talk about things, names occupations or activities okay to ask for example for an information about things we can use this example what's this it's a book okay so to ask about a name what's your name robert okay or occupations or jobs what do you do i'm a driver i'm a teacher i'm a dentist i'm a doctor etc occupations or to ask about activities, okay? What's he doing? He is working, he is studying, he is playing, he is sleeping, etc. Okay? Activities. We can use this WH question word here to ask about people. Okay? Who is the director of the school? Okay? And here I put the name of the director. Okay? Who is your father? Okay, who is your brother and etc. When I'm asking about people in general, okay, I use this WH question word who. Now let's move on to where. Where when I ask or um I want to know an information about a place, okay, for example, where is he in the house? Okay, where is he from? He is from Tiffant, okay. Where is he living? Okay, he is living, for example, in Rabat, etc. When I'm asking about a place, okay, I use the WH word where. Let's move on now to how. I can use how when I ask someone about a state or a form or manner. Concerning the state, for example, how are you? You can answer me, I'm fine, I'm not fine, I'm okay, okay, I'm sad, I'm happy, etc. Okay, when I'm asking about a manner, okay, how is Mokh? It's small. It's a small, okay? I'm talking about the manner, okay? Manner of the form of something. So, let's move on, please. We need now to move to the plural of nouns, okay? We have here types of nouns, three types of nouns. We have nouns which end with S, X, C, H, or S, H. We add just E, S at the end. For example, bus, buses, tax, taxes, bash, bashes, okay? Those words end either in S, H, X, or S, or double S, okay? So... Let's move on now to when we have a noun which ends with a consonant plus Y, like for example, a fly, okay, a fly. Here we have this L is a consonant plus Y, okay. The plural form is flies. Why? Because we have omitted this Y and replaced it with I to have flies. The same thing for try and for carry. Okay, now most other nouns we add just s for the plural form we add just s like cat, cats, 
face, faces, day, days, okay? And here we have an exception. As you can see here, we can have a Y, but just we add S, okay? Why we haven't here omitted the Y like here and replace it by I? Because here we have a vowel. A is a vowel. But here L, R, and R are consonants. When we have the consonant, we change it into I. When we have a vowel, we don't change it. We add just S at the end. Okay? We have here some irregular plurals. Okay? When we have a word or a noun which ends with FE, we change the F into V, then we add just S. Like, for example, knife, we have this F, change it into V, knife, and we add S here, knives. We change the F into V, and we add S, knife, knives, life, lives, wife, wives. Okay, move on now to the second type of regular plurals. Okay. Here we have some words or some nouns which ends with F. Change the F into V, then add ES. For example, half, the word here ends with F. We change F into V, okay? Half, half, and we add ES, halves. The same thing for wolf and loof, okay? We have some nouns which end with O, okay? We add just ES, potato, potatoes, okay? O here, the, the word, sorry, or the noun ends with O, okay? We add ES, the same thing for tomato and volcano, okay? Tomato, tomatoes, and volcano, volcanoes, okay? Now we have some other irregular plurals, okay? For example, with all kinds of irregular plurals, okay, for these kinds, for example, men, men, the plural form is men, we change A into E. Foot, feet, child, children, person, people, tooth, teeth, mouse, mice, okay? Look, those plurals are different from the previous ones. Okay, some names are unchanging. Okay, which means that we use the same form for the singular and plural. For example, if I have one, sh one sheep, two sheep without s. Three sheep, a group of sheep, etc. We don't add S. For one, for group, for two, for million, we don't add S. The same thing for deer. One deer, two deer, group of deer, etc. Okay? And we have also the same thing for fish. Move on now to demonstratives. We have... This and these. This is the singular form and this is the plural form. Okay, we use this or these when the objects are near the speaker. For example, here we have, this is a black board. This black board here is near to the speaker or the teacher. Near, it's not far. This is a black board. Black board here is a singular noun. We use this plus singular nouns for the near objects. Now let's move on to our second example. Here we have, these are peepers, peepers with S. Here we have the plurals, peepers, okay? These plus plural nouns, okay? The peepers here are near to the speaker. Now we have this uh, uh, other example, okay? Here we have, we use that, those when the objects are far from the speakers, okay, when they are far from the speakers, okay, here we have, that is a lake, look at the lake here, it's far from the speakers, okay, here we have a far from the speakers, 
okay we use that plus singular nouns that is a lake lake is singular those are mountains mountains when i'm talking about mountains okay i'm talking about plural with s okay those are mountains look at the mountains they're far from the speaker or speakers okay we use those with plural nouns now here we have a question okay some questions uh, concerning the demonstratives what is that that is an airplane is that a bird no it's an airplane okay it's far so now what are those plural okay those are books with s are those books yes they are books or just yes they are okay now we we'll move on to possessive adjectives we have seen before those words or those personal pronouns who are called also subjects pronouns we use those with verbs for example i play you play he plays she plays it plays we play they play okay i dance you cook okay he studies she sleeps etc we use those personal pronoun with verb personal pronouns sorry with verbs but move on to this side here we have my your his her it's our and their those are not personal not that they are not sorry subject pronouns but they are possessive adjectives possessive adjective so we use those with nouns okay not with verbs we use those with verbs but we use those with nouns for example my t-shirt now t-shirt is a noun your t-shirt her school for example it's a sound for example our home their books etc we use those possessive adjectives with nouns and not with verbs now we have here some examples her pants are blue her here we have possessive plus pants noun okay his shirt is new his possessive shirt noun this is our house this is our house okay our is possessive house noun this is her cat her possessive and cat noun here we have the possessive form apostrophe s okay when i'm talking about something or someone who has a relation with someone else or belongs to someone else i use this apostrophe s for example kevin's wife is rose okay the wife of whom of kevin which means that is apostrophe s reflects wife this wife has a relationship with this person okay who is given okay let us move on here charlie's book is black okay this is the book and this is charlie charlie's book which means that this book belongs to charlie okay the child's mother is happy okay the mother and this is the child okay the child's mother is happy who is happy the mother okay good and thank you for watching okay see you next inshallah try please to review your lesson carefully and leave comments for me if you have any questions and thank you again see you in your next video inshallah